Mega Dimension Neptunia V2. How long has it been since this world and I were swallowed by this dark vortex of delusion? Except it didn't swallow me. It was my doing. I threw myself willingly into this maelstrom. But it's pulled me down deeper and with more violence than I could have ever imagined. Zero Dimension Neptunia Z! Game industry. A world which exists outside of our reality. Where four CPUs protect and rule above each nation. The nation where CPU Purple Heart rules, Planetune. The nation where CPU Blackheart rules, Last Station. The nation where CPU Whiteheart rules, Louis. The nation where CPU Greenheart rules, Leanbox. In the past, game industry had been exposed to threats such as the deity of Sin and the CPU of the ancient nation of Tari. But thanks to the efforts of the four CPUs, a lasting era of peace has been maintained. However, as they enter the CPU shift period, their enduring reign is approaching its end. Super creepy dream. Ah! What was that noise? If I didn't know any better, I'd say that sounded like something plastic slamming against the concrete. Hmm, I think it came from over there. Maybe I should go take a look. And so, here we find our heroine in a spooky back alley, shrouded in darkness in the middle of the afternoon. Yeah, this isn't weird at all. Someone, save me! Huh? Is that a voice? Someone, anyone, save me! Save the Zero Dimension! Hello? Someone there? Come on, answer me! That's so weird. I could have sworn I heard it coming from around here. Hmm? Wait, what's this on the ground? It almost looks like... a game console? But who even makes this? It's got a white body, a swirl mark, even a sophisticated game sommelier like myself has never seen anything like this. Well, I don't see anyone around here, so I guess I'll just take a... I mean, deposit this at the Basilicum for safekeeping. Yeah. Hey, Napgear! Look and look! I found a super cool vintage game console. Oh, really? Maybe we can try playing it later. Also, welcome home, Neptune. I'm glad you made it back safe and sound. This kid is Nepgear. She may seem older, but don't be fooled. She's my little sister. The CPU candidate of the nation, Planetune. Neptune, where in game industry have you been? This is not the time to be goofing off. 
I will not forgive you today. Gah! It's Isti! This small fairy-looking girl is Istoire. Or Isti, as I like to call her. Planetune's first CPU created her in order to keep a record of the nation's history and, right now, she acts as Planetune's oracle. She's cute till she opens her mouth and turns into a little dictator. It's a character flaw that I'm gonna talk to the writers about soon because... Yeah. Neptune, listen to me. We're in the midst of game industry's shift period, and this is simply not the time for brash behavior. Ah, uh, come on, Isti, lighten up! It's just a little old shift period. Wait, what is that again? Even though I had explained it so thoroughly, I will explain it once again. So please, listen. The CPU shift period is the season when citizens begin searching for new CPUs to follow, instead of placing their faith in those already presiding. We're currently in the window of time when rumors about the CPUs will begin circulating, tarnishing their reputations. In fact, at this very moment, the other CPUs have been working relentlessly to prepare specialized teams to counter any allegations. I'm totally fine. This is Planetune we're talking about, Isti. My people love me. Besides, isn't Noir the only one who's made an actual team? Vert has that MMO tourney, and Lon has Rookie Novelist Awards coming up soon. Dear me, why is it that all the CPUs lack a mature and appropriate sense of danger? Hey! Don't just lump me in with those lazy idiots, Istuar! Oh, by the way, this girl is Noir, the CPU of Last Station, the nation next door. She's a friendless, lonely soul. Aren't you, Noir? You shut up! I'm not lonely! That's just the way the cookie crumbles. Anyway, Neptunior, think you can fix this console? It looks like it's pretty broken. I'm not sure if I can. It doesn't look like technology I'm familiar with. May I inspect it for a moment, Big Sis? <sighs> it cannot be helped. It appears I will be constructing a solution on my own for Planetune's safety. Yet again. Anyone, please. Save us! Huh? N Neptune, did you hear that? Oh, I knew I heard something earlier. Good work, Neptunior. Where's it coming from? This is gonna sound weird, but I think the voice came from inside this console. Oh! What is this? Why are we getting swallowed up in our own room? Oh no! What should we do? I can't move! Ne We're getting sucked in! Wait, did 
Misty find out we're slacking off to fix that console? Has she finally morphed into a bloodthirsty demon? Huh? Oh, right, right, right. This is just a dream. Okay, well then. Night, Nepgear. Turn the lights off on your way out, okay? Oh, it's not a dream, Neptune! Get up! No, 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 this can't be possible. I mean, we were just in our room, right? Why would we suddenly be in a place like this? I don't know. When I came to, we were just... here. What happened? Well, I don't really know where this is, but I don't think it can be helped. The city's collapsed, there are weird cracks in the sky, but, you know, this is totally a normal occurrence in games. Uh, Neptune, even if it happens often in games, this should not be happening here, in reality. Yeah, yeah, but let's not sweat the small stuff, all right? Hey, there might be some NPCs out and about. Let's go for a walk. I'm sure that'll be ten times better than moping around in a place like this. Yeah, you're right. It's better than just waiting around for an event to appear. That's the spirit! Let's go! Hmm. No. Hmm. That's pretty weird. You'd think there'd at least be a cat, a hologram, or something. Hey! Anyone here? There's something really eerie about this place, Neptune. Those cracks running through the streets and buildings don't seem like regular cracks. You're right. They're all green and pretty. I feel like if I stared at them long enough, they'd suck me right in. There are similar cracks in the sky, too. It's almost as if the fabric of space and time itself has cracks in it. And these buildings... They feel familiar. Kind of like some of the ones we have back in Planetune. N no it couldn't be. Hmm. Would Planetune look like this if we were to enter an apocalypse? Don't say things like that! That's bad! When I look more closely, I don't recognize any of these areas. So I don't think it's Planetune. Doi! Come on, little Nap. That city's my backyard! I'd recognize it if I was walking around it blindfolded! Well, it does us no good to keep brooding here. Forward march! Where does her confidence come from at times like this, I wonder? My confidence, you ask? It's obviously because I'm the main character. No matter what happens, we'll make it through with my protag rule set. I hope so. <laughs> Um, <clears throat> that was just kind of loud is all. <laughs> it's just a run-of-the-mill first battle baddie. See, Nep Junior, my protag rule set has found local person number one. Oh, Neptune! No matter how you look, I don't think we can converse with it. It's full of murderous intent. Uh, I guess so, huh? <laughs> and here I thought we'd finally run into someone else besides us. But if the enemy is raring to go, we've no choice. Nepgear, let's transform and stomp it. Right. Behold my power. Processor unit set. Um. Huh? But nothing happened? <laughs> Ah! Hey, that's dangerous! Oh, I see. You don't know it's against the rules to attack during a transformation sequence. I don't think a monster will understand even if you tell them that. I don't know why we can't go HDD, but we have to take care of the enemy in front of us first. Let's go for it! Okay! Let's start the tutorial battle! Everyone, use this fight to learn the basics, alright? Okay, it's a promise. I've never seen this 
monster before. It looks strong. I'll have to focus. Never fear, Nepgear. This is a tutorial battle, so no matter how crazy they look, we'll win. Okay. It's my turn! Transform. Oh! What's up, Neptune? Neptune, it's our shares! I thought something was weird. I can't feel our shares at all. Yeah, right. I trounced a certain noir in a character ranking contest. That popularity is like the source of our shares, so to be missing. <laughs> That's ridiculous. Gone! What? Why? Shares are the faith people have in CPUs. It's impossible for them to be at zero. And for us to be unable to transform in a post-apocalyptic horror world like this, we're going to be sterilized. But please, calm down, Neptune. Also, that monster we just fought? Have you ever seen anything like it before? That super gross mutant bug thing? Nope. And I kinda wish I never had. What about you? It was my first time, too. Unfamiliar monsters in an unfamiliar land. Where the goodness are we? Can we actually get out of here alive? I've tried contacting Eastwar, but the end gear keeps dropping out of range, so I can't connect to the phone or the internet. It it'll be just fine. You worry too much. Just leave everything to your big sis. And let's be real here. Roaming around strange new lands beating up monsters is way better than working at a boring desk. Neptune, I think you only feel that way because you hate working. Just, the only thing I hate is not having fun. Come on, let's make the most of this, little sis. Neptune, I don't know if I can have fun. But I'm sure we'll be fine if we're together. There we go. You look way cuter when you smile. Let's keep moving. Okay.
something. 